Psalm 8 is David looking back later in life at one of the greatest moments of triumph as he defeated the enemy of the Jews, Goliath. Oh, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants, you've ordained praise because of your enemies, to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, this moon, stars that you have set in place what is man that you're mindful of him or the son of man that you care for him you made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor you made him ruler over the works of your hands you put everything under his feet all flocks and herds and beasts of the field the birds of the air the fish of the sea all that swim in the paths of the seas oh lord our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. The eighth psalm is about God silencing his enemy. And he used a little boy. He could have used Saul. Saul could have triumphed as the king, but he wasn't in tune with God. Are you in tune with what God's doing in the world? Or are you busy like, did you know the whole nation of Israel were only thinking about themselves? They forgot about God. They forgot about his name. They forgot about his glory. They just were living for themselves. You know, at the end of this trip, we're going to look at Herod's palace that's destroyed. Did you know Herod lived for Herod? Saul lived for Saul. David lived for God. Did you notice anything different in all those people's lives? Saul lived for Saul. Herod lived for Herod. David lived for now the question is, put your name in. You know all the people around you live for themselves, but we're different. We're what? Christians. We belong to Christ. So the question is, are we living for us or living for God? And if we live for God, look at the end of the 8th Psalm. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. God wants to make his name excellent through you and me.